Hey guys, this is Moda, aka The Mining Snacker. So hey, just wanted to post a quick little video with some troubleshooting tips for any of you guys who just got a uh, TZ590-BTC. So I did have a couple issues the first time I tried to get it to post. Um, luckily this motherboard makes it real easy. It has little LEDs on the side that kind of tell you if there's any issues going on. So the weird thing that happened with me was actually with the RAM. So normally when you're, you know, you got your first boot up, you're trying to post it up, you normally slot into the A2 and B2 or together. But uh, when I initially tried that, it actually did not work. So I tried them individually, one at a time. And the slot that got it to boot was actually the B1 slot. So I only have one stick. Again, it's a mining rig, so it doesn't really need a much RAM. But um, once I threw that in there, that cleared up that error. And again, the, the quick little thing with this one, I'm trying to see if I can zoom in on these little LEDs. Kind of tricky to see. So we get it to focus. There it goes. All right, so on that initial boot up, as it's going, it kind of has like a little checklist. So you see now I made it to the third one, the third one being the RAM shoot boot up once it registers and then the last one being boot and then it goes right up so as it's booting up right now it should start go all the way here in just a moment but that does make troubleshooting easier because that way you can see if it's your CPU if it's having an issue there or if it's the RAM there it goes so now boot it all the way um, but yeah that definitely helps especially if you're buying used stuff you know, if you're buying used stuff and you're trying to install it for the first time, you don't really know the quality or you don't know if it's, you know, is it fully working at the time or it's not. So you got to go through and troubleshoot a bit. Um, one other issue I did have, which was a weird one, was after it posted, after it was running well, when I shut it off and restarted one time, the Ethernet wasn't working anymore. So the left light, the orange light, wouldn't come on at all. So I rebooted a couple times, still wouldn't go. What finally did it though was turning off the PSUs completely. So flipping the switch on both of them and then as it was off, hitting the, the power button just to get it to drain all the way. And then flipping them back on and turning it on and doing that way, it finally did actually go back on. Ever since then, I haven't had any issues though, but that was one, one weird hiccup with this one. All right guys, so this is just a quick little clip, just so you know, some little things. I'll post a bigger review later, do some more testing. So far so good. It's been up 12 hours. Haven't had any issues, but I'll post a more uh, in-depth review later on. Alright guys, I'm out.